Hello and welcome to Spirit Forest. This is a series of videos that I am doing talking about the build of my cabin and I'm taking you along this whole journey. Now it's very possible that my tent is already down. <laughs> Very possible the tent's already down, but I did record these videos earlier and I'm doing it in order for you and myself. And I'm just recording as things are going and I'm trying to post the videos um, throughout the winter time and the colder months when I know not a lot of stuff is gonna be happening on my property. So just so you know, I recorded that whole video and um, if you notice the weather is a lot different right now, it's actually really warm. Um, it was really too dark, it was just too dark to see stuff so and it just started raining a lot. So I'm going to re-record this video and um, we're going to walk the property and stuff and, and I'll kind of show you some stuff that's been going on but I apologize for that, not that you probably don't care but um, yeah, I've, I've recorded this twice now. <laughs> But the good part is I got better drone for footage as well for you so that you could actually see, you know, the layout of the house and stuff like that. Now, every once in a while, when I feel like it's needed or whatever, um, I am going to show a lot of the engineering um, specs, all his, his drawings and stuff too. That's just, you could look at it or not look at it. I'm just showing it because it is all part of the process. It's some of the stuff that I was looking at as I was walking around and, and looking at things and measuring things. It was something that I was looking at. I just want to make sure things are done right. And I do know that I have inspectors coming out here all the time. It's just, that's just who I am, you guys. It's just who I am. I always double check, triple check. You know, people mess up. I mess up constantly. So um, same, kind of, same kind of thing. So I'm going to end up walking around. I do have my mic on, so um, I have it at my waist right now. So I'm hoping that you don't get too much background noise. Um, a lot of times with the mic, it picks up every little noise. Okay, so shall we start? I'm so excited to see the house starting to go up. <laughs> very excited, very, very excited. Okay, um, let's get started. I'm gonna start in the front of the house, which is uh, where the porch is. Okay, so this is my current driveway right now. Yay! You see how um, wide it is? Well, um, because I had to add more stairs, and again, these videos play on each other, so please watch the videos before, um, and you'll see the layout and, and kind of some of the things I've done, but I did raise the house up a little bit more, and um, the, the reason for that was because of this wall that I have, that if I were to look out my bedroom wall, I'm gonna see this uh, dirt wall. And I didn't want that. And I don't know why they cut it that way, but you know, it is what it is. And so I raised it up another two feet, but by raising up two feet, I need to add more steps. 
and um, maybe I can show you when I come grab a camera so you can actually see it but um, this will be my pillar Again, look at the layout. So I'll have a pillar coming up here like this. My steps are actually pretty wide. I am walking down my steps right now. Here's my, here's my other pillar right here. And then I have um, a two or three steps. And then by code, I have to have like this landing pad. It can't go directly on the dirt. You have to have this landing pad. And I'm like, seriously? <laughs> So that brings on the landing pad, I think, is about like this wide that you have to have. So what I've been told is a lot of people put the landing pad down and then they have like pavers or something like that. And when you get your CO, Certificate of Occupancy, they take out those pavers <laughs> because I would like my, my steps to actually stop here. And I'm only ballparking, you guys. We, we kind of measured it a little bit, and I'm kind of ballparking it right now. So my steps will be here. But what does this mean? Um, and I don't, I don't think I'm showing too much in the camera, but because my steps have come down, because of this landing pad that ends about right here, probably at the end of my frame right now, um, I still have to drive my car <laughs> to my house but now I got these steps and a landing pad so that means I gotta push it out some more so that way I can bring my car into here and my future garage will be over here so I have to my driveway is gonna turn and then come up up here um, again because these steps are are so long you see I'm still walking up the steps and then I'm on right here I'm, I'm, I'm on my porch right now so I'm about this high up on my porch Okay, so that is a new change, um, which means I had to cut some more trees down. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine trees. I have to cut nine more trees. Um, yeah, you guys know, you know I don't like cutting trees down and stuff. And I do plan, and I'm going to be planting some trees here. And um, But, um, yeah. Okay, so that is the front area right now. Um, I'm going to start, we're going to change the camera around. We're going to point it this way so you can see some things. There is a concern that I have that I'd like to, to show you. Um, but by code, they're doing it right. But it's, it's just a concern of mine. Okay, so over here, um, when you look at the plans, I do have a gear room that's above this. Um, I would be currently sitting on my porch and my porch, uh, I'm gonna guess, is about like right here. So I'll be this high up or so, let me a little higher, I can't reach anymore. Um, I will be up on my porch. This over here is my crawl space that I've been telling you guys about. Um, here's what my concern is. It does get really cold here, we get frost, and um, I forgot all the, the building terms of everything. I am learning a ton, you guys. I'm learning so much about building a house. Um, you see this little, I sprayed this um, spot right here. So they're going to backfill the dirt only till about there. You're, you're and by code, and I'll try to show some of uh, the engineering specs as well, which this is by code. So they're doing it the way they're supposed to do it. I did actually look at the plans and checked it and double checked it, and, and they're doing it right. But they're going to fill it up, the dirt, till about here. And so that way it hides my footers down here in the cement blocks here those are those are considered my footers um so yeah so the, i thought i thought it had to be like four to six feet high um because of my frost level here so i don't know if they have different kind of concrete here or what but that's actually a concern but according to code i guess that's okay i don't know but so what the excavator is going to end up doing here once all this stuff is is poured um, I'm assuming some of you guys that are watching this uh, know what these these things are, but I guess I could talk about when we get inside. I'll talk about what these are. Um, oh, they have oil all over them too. That's probably not good. Um, I'm gonna be a mess. I'm gonna be a mess. Okay, so the excavator is gonna come back, backfill the dirt up to about here, um, and so my thought is, and hopefully I'm in still in the frame. Um, my thought is is over here. Um, 
will be my a place where I can park my car too. And I might be able, because I'm not going to build a garage um, anytime soon. It's just I'm over budget on a lot of things right now. So um, I might be able to at least put up a tarp in the summertime um, to protect my car. Now, the majority of the time, you can see, see how the shade is right here. Um, I don't know what time it is right now. It's at 1030 and we're in the month of September. So, um, yeah, it's, it's mostly going to be shaded here. So uh, maybe I could just protect my car from hail and stuff with a big tarp or something. That's so typical of me. I'm like, just tarp it. <laughs> it's all good. Um, but inside here, um, again, is my crawl space. Um, we've, I've actually uh, messaged the builder and I was talking to him about where the door is going to be to access the crawl space. And so that's the next thing I want to talk about with you guys. Those of you that are following my journey of building my cabin, I really appreciate it. I really do. And those of my Patreons too, you know, thank you. I know that sometimes I can be a bit long winded in some of these videos, but I'm, I kind of, I'm doing these videos for me. I'm also doing it for people that are actually going to build their own cabin and they might want to know what the stages are. So I probably, um, it fast forward through the parts you don't want to know about. That's all I'm saying. You know, you're, you're in control of your own destiny. So if you don't want to hear certain parts, I do talk about a lot of details, a lot of stuff that I'm going through, a lot of things that are going in my head and everything like that um, through my videos. This is not how to build a cabin type videos. Um, I do have a builder, but there are going to be some stuff that I'm going to be doing in the cabin, but that happens after the cabin's been uh, dried in. So um, that's when my my work actually starts. But for now, I do hire people to come out here. There's just a lot of coding involved um, and the stuff that I'm doing um, doesn't involve as much coding like I'm doing cabinets and doors and molding and stuff like that. And we'll talk about it later. But I just wanted to say that before I keep going and you're like, gosh, she talks a lot. <laughs> because there's a lot of stuff going on there's a lot of decisions to make and i'm building this cabin by myself like this is my own cabin and sometimes i like you know opinions and sharing my thoughts okay so this is basically a square so you can't see around the corner here but it looks just the same as it does around this corner right here um i was debating the the, oh, the way the plans are drawn uh, the doors on this side over here um, towards the middle again looks just like that side. That's where the door was drawn um, And I'll show the reason why well, we have to move that door But I'll show you the reason why as I came here and looked at it and I was like wait a minute um, But I actually asked the builder if we could move the door anyways Because if because I didn't think there was gonna be so much space here if I can park my car here I can keep my gear I keep touching these things. I can keep my gear in here. Would that be cool? That'd be cool. So I'm very excited about that because I'm all about just taking stuff from my car right into here. There won't be any steps. However, this will be like a, maybe it will be this tall. I mean, it won't be this narrow, but um, it will be really, really short. I think it'll be like a, like a four foot door. <laughs> A good thing I'm short. I'm 5'5". Five five. So um, yeah, so we're going to put a door here is what I wanted to show you. A really small door. I think it'd be really cool to have a little hobbit door. You know, wouldn't that be fun to have a little hobbit door? But I'm sure my, my builder would really laugh at me and be like, you want a wet door? <laughs> I want a little hobbit door. Or, you know, a little circle. I think that'd be fun. Anyway, it probably takes, it's probably so complicated to, to figure that out and make it airtight and all that. I probably won't do that. I know I won't do that, but I, that would be fun. Okay, so let's um, now go over towards the other corner of the house. You know what? It's so bright out here today. It's been raining for a while, but it's so bright out here today. I can't even see my screen on my camera. So if I'm out of the frame, it's just because I can't, I can't see my screen, but this is what I wanted to show you. I am at, uh, this is my front door. So this is exactly where my front door is going to be. Um, hold on. Rocky's telling me somebody's here. Nope. People are just slowing down to see me build my cabin. It's an ongoing thing here. Okay. So I want you to see how the, um, 
the footers um, go here and then go down and over. Um, if you remember, I've Oh, hold on, sorry. That was a neighbor. Um, okay, so you'll see the footers go down like two feet and then and then out. Um, that makes it so that my crawl space in here, I'll have a little bit more room. I am, for me, I'm still gonna have to be like this going into my crawl space. But um, up here, once you get up to this level, you only have four feet of height. Um, and that is was on my plans. Okay, I um, wanna show you here. Remember I said, because you know, some people are like, you're building a huge cabin. Well, I knew that what they dug out was wider than my cabin, you know what I mean? So I don't know how many feet that is, uh, four feet, something like that. In other areas, it's actually even bigger than this. Um, but you have this whole area that you can actually walk around the entire cabin if you, if you needed to. And I'm sure that's the reason why um, the excavator built it out like this, so people can walk around. Um, the cabin, but I wanted to show you that so you have an idea what that's gonna if you're building your own cabin okay, I'm just I'm gonna whisper this um, Be prepared for them to like trash your place <laughs> Like uh, For those of you that that watch my channel, and you know my channel, and you know like what I do here too is I also camp on my land and and so I usually get a porta potty every year because of, legally I have to have a porta potty here if I'm camping that's part of their county rules and my porta potty is oh my gosh like there must have been 50 men here there there must have been 50 <laughs> I'm not even using my porta potty <laughs> I'm just being honest with you guys cuz it's nasty nasty and like they have they have trash everywhere like there there's a food wrapper over there they have cigarette butts everywhere uh and then like they're smoking on my property are you kidding me like oh i'm, I'm gonna get the non-smoking signs everywhere on this property because like if my 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 grass especially if you drop a cigarette in my grass it's it it's done this whole thing is burnt up so that's one of the things i'm doing is i'm getting non-smoking signs everywhere now whether or not they actually listen to me it's probably not going to happen and well yeah going to talk to the builder about that too and i'm not trying i mean i understand some of you smoke and you know that's okay your prerogative i get that is just please understand the reason why i'm really upset about it is because it's so dry here and like i haven't been able to have a fire for ever and they're smoking and dropping it, flipping their buds everywhere. And I get it that this is dirt, but I don't, I don't care. You know what I mean? They could be driving down the driveway and flip it out the window or something into my grassy area. I just want to let you know, be prepared for that kind of stuff. Put up a bunch of non-smoking signs if you're in an area that is high danger, um, fire risk danger. Okay, enough about that. Let's talk about the house again. All right, it's all part of the building process. Um, okay, let's see here. This is my bay window. This, this to me is the highlight of my house. Letty, you gotta get a bay window. Of course, I have no idea what it's gonna look like yet, but <laughs> get your builder to build you a bay window. I think that you're gonna love it. Um, so, let's see. I don't know how much I have in the frame, but I have the majority of this side here within my camera view right now. Um, because of this huge wall, and so I'm gonna step next to it so you can see it. I think it's 10 feet tall. This is, this is 10 feet tall, mostly in this corner, and it starts going down a little bit. Um, but because this is an uphill, um, I, I don't know the right terms, slope, uphill side of the cabin, um, they are gonna have to um, raise the walls over here compared to what they do on the rest of the house. So this side of the house, my south side of the house, will have thicker walls on it. And it will also, um, which is not part of code, which I think is really interesting, but I told my builder I wanted it. I wanted them to, um, I'm sure there's another term for this, but waterproof this side, you know? Because it's, it's not part of code, like you don't have to do it. And I'm like, really? I mean, I know what it is in the city because I built a house in the city. Well, I had to build it, build it, but I was there for all, the whole process of it. And, and um, I was married to someone who was a builder for 
16 years, you know what I mean? So um, I'm not, this isn't, this all isn't totally new to me. So um, they are going to um, raise up the foundation wall to about maybe where the top of my hand is right here. And it's gonna be thicker. So the wall and the windows, and I think it's gonna be on the sides as well here, um, is gonna be thicker coming up here. So it's not gonna be the two by fours. So my window wells are gonna be thicker up here as well because they're gonna end up just framing it out. Um, I'm just letting you know that because these windows um, in my bedroom as well, which is over there, again, check out the layout in the other videos, my bedroom's over there, they will have thicker window wells, which is it's not that bad of a deal. I mean, I don't think it's, I think it's fine because uh, um, the window well will come out like, like this, I don't know, is it maybe six inches? I'm, I'm guessing, I have no idea actually. But I can put plants on it and stuff like that if I wanted to and you know, I can make it work. It does encroach a little bit on my my twin bed that I was putting there. <laughs> so I don't know what we're gonna do about that, but we'll see. Again, we'll, we'll, we'll see once it gets built. We'll see once it gets built. Um, but I do just wanna let you know that hopefully the next time I come out here, um, possibly you're gonna see, and then some future videos you're gonna see the walls here but you'll see them higher up and by doing that as well again remember the excavator is gonna cut in cut in and then cut in and so that way when I'm looking out my bay windows I'm not looking right into this as much as this is really pretty and has some nice cool rocks and of course yeah I took some for souvenirs because <laughs> I'm goofy like that yes oh um, you see this right here, you see this little square, hopefully it's still in the frame, I can't see my screen. See this little square here, that is a, they're going to put a pole here. <laughs> I have a beam that goes across my house this way. So there's a beam going all the way across and I'm going to change the camera angle so you can see it, but I will have a beam going across and that's the reason why this is um, a bigger footing. And you can also see it on the plans as well, the engineering plans. Okay, I know, you, I know you don't see my head, <laughs> but picture there's a beam right here or um, a pole that comes up and then there's going to be a, um, I think it's a steel one, steel beam that comes across, comes over here. I'm going to have another pole coming up to, as well. And so this way, um, and then it goes across over there. So it continues on over there. So it, it's what holds my house up is right here. And so over here, um, again, I did not do a basement. So um, about right here, my poor contractors <laughs> have about four feet to get and do all the plumbing underneath the house. Um, I, I feel for them, but it is what it is. So four feet, they will be able to crawl under my house and hook up the plumbing. Now I will have some plumbing about right here this will be my and i'm squatting down because i honestly really don't know if i'm even in the camera view but i will have a kitchen island about right here and it will have a sink and a dishwasher and all of that kind of stuff i will have a refrigerator but i don't know if i'm going to run water to it or not um but it's i don't know it's possible i might um i will have a bathroom um right about here this this whole area right here um, is going to be a bathroom. So all of my plumbing is going to be coming up. Now remember, I said in other videos too, I didn't want any plumbing coming through the exterior walls of my house. So there's no plumbing at all coming through the exterior walls. And um, maybe, do I need to turn the camera? I don't know. Um, <clears throat> my water is over here. Um, so my water line is coming into here. So it gives you kind of an idea of all the plumbing that they're going to have to do under the house. This doesn't talk about the electrical work as well. It's actually a little bit more narrow over here in this area. But what I want to show you, my sliding glass door to go outside on my property. So this is, um, I have two windows on either side. And remember, sliding glass doors here. And you open it this way will be my sliding glass door. So it starts here at this blue line and ends, which I don't think you're gonna be able to see it, but about uh, over here. So now it ends right, right here. 
Um, that's actually good news because I wasn't able to measure it before. The last couple times I've been here, I haven't been able to measure it um, because this is a little bit more level. And so they don't have to do as much, much excavation going off this way. Um, so they're gonna make this area flat um, until about, and I'm maybe getting out of frame here soon, but they're gonna make this level flat. In fact, I'll turn the camera so you can see. Okay, got the camera turned. So this will be flat to about, about, let's see, probably right about here. Um, this is my, where's my wall height? My wall height is about the top of this right here. So from here, and then I have my sliding glass door above that. So it gives you kind of an idea. I don't know if it goes off this way. You know, that's my floor. Oh, here, okay, here you can see a blue line that goes across. That's actually where my floor is gonna be. Um, trying to ballpark myself here. So up here we'll be pushed back. We're gonna have some boulders. Um, they were talking about having like concrete that looks like boulders and I said no I, I want real boulders so we're gonna put some real boulders in there and we're gonna cut it out up more boulders and cut it out and be up to, up at the top that's kind of what we're gonna do that's kind of you know it's like I'm trying to learn this process would I change anything now other than my, my gear room or utility room um, I think I would have paid a little bit more attention when they excavated it because they excavated this um, in a week and I was, I was out of town, um, I was working, so I wasn't here when they excavated it, but I would have probably had them do it differently. Um, yeah, I would have had them, I would have had them done it differently. I wouldn't have had all the, this. Um, I'm hoping, I really am, I'm hoping and I'm uh, hopeful and, and uh, that this is all gonna work out and it will be to my benefit and I'll end up liking it and loving it and all of that. But um, there is a little part of me that's a little bit worried about this whole like hillside that's up here and my windows looking right into dirt. But the, the builder has assured me because he can be on site during the week and talk to all the contractors. I cannot because I have to work. Um, he's assured me everything's going to be okay. He understands my needs and knows what I like. And, you know, and, and I'm like, okay, okay. I just got to, you know, that's what I'm paying him to do is to be out here to talk to the people and build the home of my dreams. So, um, yeah. Okay, we're going to point towards now um, my gear room, my crawl space area, because I want to let you know why I, have, why I had to switch the door. Um, do you see how this... I don't know if you can see in the camera, but there's like spray paint on this, this one uh, rebar. Um, this is my electrical ground. Ooh, see, I always forget the terms of everything. It's my grounding rebar. <laughs> What's it called? I thought it had to be copper or something, but there is something here and I'm gonna, I'll shoot a video so you can see a close up of this, but um, this is where my electrical is being grounded. Now again, remember this is my crawl space and above this is gonna be my utility closet. In my utility closet slash gear room is gonna be my water heater, my electrical panel, and my, um, my heater. My gas heater is gonna be up there as well. So just take that in consideration as you, probably a reason why they put it there. I don't know why they put it there. I don't know if it matters, but um, I can't exactly put a door here if that is my electrical grounding. <laughs> so, but honestly, it worked out. Oops, it worked out better because I think that coming in here, parking, and then having a straight shot out um, would be would be good. I think I'd like that. I keep touching these walls, and they spray it with this like oil. Okay, I'm just gonna ruin all my clothes here. <laughs> okay, you get into this door. And this is what the builder told me. There might be something with code. I don't really know because I don't understand this. And I should have asked a question when the builder was talking to me about some of this stuff. But I'm going to have a door here. And then I walk over here and I have another door. And I don't know why I have to have another door. But there's going to be two doors that I have to walk through. Not ideal for me. But maybe that has something to do with code or something. I, I 
I didn't forgot to ask that. So I'll end up asking that and telling you in the future, why do I have to walk through two doors? So I have kayaks, I have backpacks, I have a whole bunch of stuff that's probably gonna go in here. Mostly probably the kayaks, any bigger stuff is what's gonna go in here. Um, okay, so picture me, I'm gonna carry a kayak in here, opening door, and then now, like, I think I'll be down a little bit over here and then I can just swing my kayak around or bring it off that way or something like that. I just want to be able to store stuff. So I can put like shelving system here for some more type gear. Um, I do need to think about lighting down here because I want this to be really bright, especially because um, here it's going to be about five foot four ish. Again, I'm five foot five, so I'll have to come down just a little bit. It's almost probably where all these are kind of where I'm going to end up being like that. So it's not going to be like a comfortable place to be, but um, I'm just going to be there to store stuff. But I'm looking forward to it. I really am. Okay, let's have a little chat and, um, and then I'll end the video and we'll continue on with future videos of the cabin. <laughs> I had to re-record this because I was sitting on my mic. <laughs> oh, it's, it's all fun. All fun. <laughs> Okay, I'm just going to hold my mic. It is actually a little bit breezy right now. So now i got to remember what I said, <laughs> what I was talking about. Um, here, I'm going to put my mic on my lap here. So, let's see. Um, I was talking about the walls and stuff. So, um, you did see that I had a wall up. And then um, they're going to put another wall up. And then they're going to put rebar through it. And then an inspector is going to come out and inspect that. And then um, once they get approval for the inspection, and then they'll come out here and they'll end up pouring the concrete. And then I'll have all my walls. Now, I am really excited to have, um, you know, again, the house starting to, to go up and things are starting to move. And I'm told that they're going to be pouring the walls within two weeks. So uh, I'm really, really excited. So other things that are going on currently right now, and I know I probably I'm going to be talking about a future video or I've already talked about it, um, my construction loan. And uh, I'm actually closing on my construction loan here in um, tomorrow. Yeah, that's tomorrow <laughs> for me, for to my, my life today. I might close on my construction loan tomorrow and then they're ready to buy some more things. Now the, the loan, the the um, loan company, the bank, has told my builder to stop everything and wait until the construction loan is closed, um, which is again tomorrow, so it's probably not going to delay us too much, but they do have to stop everything, and probably today is uh, Sunday, and so they'll end up stopping it um, and starting again on Tuesday. But there's a lot of stuff. If you if I do a video on my construction loan, definitely watch that one because I am learning a ton on that. T learning a ton. So make, make sure you end up watching that video regarding my construction loan. So one of the things that I'm concerned about, again, it is September right now. Um, and feel free to go look on Google and uh, look at the lumber market right now. I had my house quoted, my lumber pack quoted in March because you had to get all that stuff done in um, months before you get your construction loan. You got to get everything approved and what the house is going to cost. Well, um, the, the market, and we're going to go on a graph now. This is March and that is September. <laughs> that is the lumber market right now. So we got two hurricanes coming in a pandemic and everybody's been working on their house. We have um, low supply of uh, lumber materials. I was just recently talking to the builder about he can't even get um, metal roofing right now. He can't get it. He also is looking for a, a bath pan for a shower and he can't get that. He said he's waited four weeks for a bath pan for a shower. Now remember again, I am completely remote out here, you know, and the bath pan that he was looking for was a custom one. It wasn't something you can go to Home Depot for. Um, and it wasn't for my house, obviously. <laughs> Um, but I just want to let you guys know I am debating on whether or not I'm going to buy my lumber pack now or kind of see where the market's going to go and if it ends up going down after these hurricanes, um, then I buy my lumber then. So like, I don't really know what I'm going to do, but I still have to put in the well. 
I still have to put my electrical work in. Um, but I still got other things that I need to do before I would buy my lumber pack anyways. The goal of my builder was to get my house dried in by winter. Um, and he basically says until the snow really starts to fly, which uh, I don't know. Like I really, I, I don't know if that's gonna happen. Um, I did ask him, I said, hey, I want to be here when you guys are framing the house because it takes like a week to frame it, right? And he just laughed at me. <laughs> and I'm like, what? Because I, I, lived, I lived in an area where houses are popping up like crazy, you know, and they do get framed in a week. You know, here it takes about a month and a half to frame a house. And so, yeah, I won't be renting a cabin up here and watching that. <laughs> but I will be driving up here and taking video and stuff because I guess... Not a lot's going on every week <laughs> well, compared to what they can do in the city. I'm guessing uh, they might only have a crew of like two or three people instead of the crew of 15, you know, would, would be my guess. So um, I get learning a ton about building here in the mountains and I'm just sharing it all with you so that way you can kind of prepare yourself for it as well. So the next video that I'd like to do in the cabin is a talk about my um, electrical work um, my, the trench that they dug and why they dug it the way they did and um, and put it in the spot that they did and stuff so hope, uh, hopefully you'll see that video next or in a future coming video here coming shortly so thanks for watching if you got any questions let me know and again to my Patreons thank you so much for your support your comments your letters um, everything I really do appreciate it and if you're looking to support me during this adventure um, feel free to check out my patreon that you'll see a link here um, shortly okay thanks again and uh, talk to you on the next one bye bye